am a filmmaker and a musician, and I just wrote and directed Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Undead, and I'm releasing uh, my second solo album called Search Party. Okay, what is this Rosencrantz? What is that? Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Undead is a romantic comedy that it connects vampire Shakespeare and the Holy Grail. Can people see it anywhere? It's coming out in theaters June 4th. Oh, worldwide? Uh, well, it, it's coming out in theaters in New York June 4th, and then we're rolling it out to um, other cities throughout the summer. Okay, cool. I remember seeing it last year. Was it CMW? Yeah, you saw, yeah. It, yeah, you saw it at the it was Convergence of Inspirations, because there's different things going on in the movie. It's not just a vampire film, but I was inspired by by Bram Stoker's Dracula as a young boy, and then, you know, I was inspired to sort of include the Holy Grail stuff because of um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and and then um, and Hamlet is just something I've always been fascinated with and studied a lot in college. Shakespeare is always a classic. Mm-hmm. Oh, what is this behind you? Oh, this is... These are the stars <laughs> of the film. Okay. I didn't actually... They were really expensive, so I couldn't actually get them. But I got the right to use their images, so I. So that's Devon Aoki. Okay, she's and lead contrary character. Contrary to popular opinion, they don't give two-dimensional performances. They're okay. Actually, quite three-dimensional in the movie. All right. Anyway. Yeah. And so then I kept as a kept them as souvenirs. So, well, you gotta keep your souvenirs. Right? Yeah, totally. Are you writing any more films? Is there anything in the works? Um, yeah. Well, I'm I'm working on a lot of different scripts at the moment. Um, and uh, and hopefully you know I'm gonna have a a sequel to Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Undead sometime in the next decade. In the next decade, I see. So tell us a bit about your music. Um, well, I. This is my second solo record. I uh, I used to write all the songs and sing for a band called Dopo You May, which you might have heard of. And if you haven't, you should check out the MySpace um, or whatever it is these days. Yeah, and then I had a band called Domino with a girl named Domino singing. Okay. Um, and and uh, that record was produced by Mark Ronson, and we actually just released it. Um, but, the, the, and, and she's still working and singing, but I'm just no longer in the band. But, oh, God. Because um, the film stuff has taken up a lot of time. Yeah, it but takes up a lot. we still work together, Domino and I. That's good. And, um, and, you know, I still 
we've collaborated with Mark Ronson. I'm actually working on a music video for him right now. It's mm -hmm. top secret, so I can't tell it. Yet. Oh, okay. But that um, and uh, and I wrote a few songs with Daniel Merriweather for his for his record. Cool. So that was really cool. I'm really that was very proud. Of Excited. That work. And and to hear that that was the first time I'd ever worked on music that was like then completely executed without me like being in the room like I didn't play on it I didn't sing it I didn't do it it was just it was very cool and by such talented people I was really I'm very proud of that. that's awesome well thank you very much battery is low okay, gotta thanks. go <laughs> <laughs> all right ciao peace out